Hey everybody, how's it going? Joe here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about some editing uh, tricks, tips, whatever. Anything if you're a filmmaker, an editor, cinematographer, you're in the right place. So obviously given the uh, current state of events, um, a lot of you have lost a lot of shoots or had to like reschedule or, or whatever it may be. This is me trying to stay uh, busy and maybe hopefully kind of like shed some light on some questions maybe you guys have. But again, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. I'm looking at you, Florida. So specifically, today we're gonna to talk about film grains. So recently I made a post about how to properly add film grain to your clips without it looking like it was just thrown on in uh, the editing process or in post. As you can see, I have my screen up right now. I picked a random clip from one of, more recent, one of my more recent shoots. As you can see, this is my friend, Bronze Avery. He is an amazing artist. Now, this clip isn't from one of his videos, but as you can see, it looks like a pretty finished clip. We have grain on there. We have color correction on there. Uh, so basically what we're gonna do is, let's turn all of this off and we're gonna see the clip by itself without any color correction or anything like that. So it's a pretty boring clip as you can see. I mean, there's, I mean, slow motion looks nice, but there's no color correction. There's no nothing, there's no texture. It's just a, a plain old shot. And that just won't do. That will not do. But anyways, let's start by turning this back on. Let's just look at the grain. Now we don't have to go with this whole letterboxing you see here, but that was just the look of the video. So we're just gonna stick with that because it has a grain attached to it. So I'm gonna make this full screen just so you can see the detail of the shot. So when we're looking around at this close up, I mean, there's just so much detail. It was captured in 4K. This is with a black magic pocket cinema 4K and it was shot in raw. So this is its raw, B-raw footage. But as you can see, it's a lot of detail and that would be fine if we were going for a, maybe more of a 35 millimeter look because 35 millimeter is a lot cleaner than let's say 16 millimeter. But right now what's really in is that 16 millimeter look, sometimes even eight millimeter, which is actually what this grain is that I'm using right now. So what a lot of people would probably do is just throw the grain on top. So let's do that real quick and see what it looks like. So obviously grain starts out looking like this because this was shot, this was from an actual eight millimeter camera and they just basically took it from, it's real grain, let's just say that. Anyways, I don't know the process. So you take the grain. Then we'd set the blend mode to, I think this one is screen. Nope, not screen. Overlay, yes, okay, overlay. Now let's just play that back real quick. And it looks okay. It doesn't look, it doesn't look bad. But the thing that's, uh, pointing out to me is that let's zoom in real quick and see this grain versus the rest of the shot. It's actually not doing a bad job, but again, this just looks too clean. The grain isn't matching the detail of the shot. So as you can see all these pieces of grain over here, they're kind of thick, they're pretty chunky. You get all these little white specks popping up every here and there, wherever, but the actual clip is way too sharp. It was shot in 4K, what do you expect? There are two different ways to make this grain fit the shot more organically and make it look like it really was shot on film. So let's start with the first method. The first method would be to literally go straight to the video clip, go to your effects tab, type in Gaussian, Gaussian, Gaussian? I think it's Gaussian, whatever, Gaussian blur. Now you're going to drag that into the effect panel and we're gonna just make sure that the repeat edge pixels box is ticked. You have to make sure people Please make sure the repeat edge pixels box is ticked. Thank you. We're just gonna add maybe like five points of blurriness. So you're looking at it and you go, I didn't see really much of a difference. But let's look in a little bit closer. And as you can see, there's a little bit less detail in this shirt. And when I'm looking at this grain and I'm looking at these edges, it looks like it fits a lot better. It almost looks like the pixels are matching the size of the grain. The, pix the pixels are matching the size of the grain. Remember, that is the key word here, folks. Listen. And already to my eyes, this looks, this looks a lot better. And I know you really can't see it on your end, but I tr trust me. So this would be the first option. Again, adding blur straight to the clip. Let's try option number two. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna delete that gouging blur that we did. 
Just hit select, hit delete, done. So let's look at this adjustment layer here. Basically how to add adjustment layer, and a lot of people don't know how to do this. So we're gonna just go up to here, file, new, uh, adjustment layer, boom. Just remember, when you add an adjustment, it's like whatever is under this adjustment layer, it will affect. So basically if I had three other clips under this layer, this adjustment layer, it would affect all those three clips. So anyways, we already have an adjustment layer here. It's for example, so let's just turn it on and see what it does. Now, instantly, do you see that glow? I'm gonna to toggle it on and off. Do you see, look, okay people, look closely. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna make this a little bit larger just so you can see. Let's, 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 large in, let's large in this up a little bit. So again, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. So let's keep it on and let's see, let's see what, let's see what this is doing to the clip because I absolutely love using this. This is one of my favorite things to do. What I did to this clip is instead of adding the Gaussian blur straight to the clip itself, the video clip, I added it to that adjustment layer. And the reason why I did that is because we want to set this adjustment layer to about 25 to maybe 35 opacity. Okay, I have it set to 25 as, I, as you can see here. Basically what that does is it just makes this adjustment layer less effective, let's just say that. But very effective in the end. So let's take a look at the Gaussian blur. I have it set to 100. That's usually the max I will go. I will never go over 100, but this one just needed 100. So let's just turn this down. And you can see it's not, you don't see anything, but let's just turn it up to 50 adds a slight glow on the edges here, as you can see, just a slight glow. But with 100, you can see the glow just gets larger here. And that's what we were looking for in this video. You just have to tweak it to how it looks best on your video clip. If I had this adjustment layer set to 100, it would look like this. It just looks like it's just doing its job. It's blurring the image. But let's slowly turn this opacity down just so you can see what it's doing to the clip. So here's it's completely off and we're slowly turning it back on. You can see what it's doing. So basically that screen that it's doing, that the opacity is just adjusting how intense it's displaying that blur on top of that clip. But anyways, we had it set to 100. It's a 25 opacity. Now, so already with that grain, grain turned on, let's zoom in, the, the detail matches across the board. I'll say that right now. And really that's it, but there's just so many other things you could do to the clip. Let's just do some examples for shits and giggles is let's turn off that main grain. And we're gonna turn on one of these specialty grains. And these specialty grains come with a nice little, uh, let's say letterboxing, because this is supposed to mimic eight millimeter footage. As you can see, you see the perforation on the left side right here. And let me just play this clip just so you can see what it does. So this is actual eight millimeter film grain. And I'll show you where I got this. This is from an amazing filmmaker, Ezra Cohen. I'll put a link in the description with his website. I mean, you can buy so many cool presets, so many cool effects, coloring, sound effects, whatever it is. This is your guy. And he just, uh, his look is just so organic and a lot of other people aren't, so I just really like it. But anyways, these just little effects, you see these little, you know, streaks and hair and the little white dust specks and stuff. It just makes it look more organic. And now let's just turn on a burn. So this burn, let's just play it back and see what it looks like. So just little things like that brings your footage to the next level minus trying to just take really, really sharp 4K footage and just throwing grain on it. There's a couple other things you can do to make that grain work better with your video clip. So again, try this out, try it with your own clips and let me know if there's any other questions you have or any other editing stuff. I have other videos I'm gonna be putting out later this week or maybe next week, who knows? Okay, people, uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Uh, have a good day and start shooting. Yeah. So have a good day and stay safe. Bye.